Hello friends, welcome back. Today we're going to do the second portion of the front-end library certification, and we're going to do jQuery. So we want to learn how script, tags, and document ready work. Now we're ready to learn jQuery, the most popular JavaScript tool of all time. Before you can start using jQuery, we need to add some things to your HTML. First, add a script element at the top of the page. Be sure to close it on the following line. Your browser, browser will run any JavaScript inside a script element, including jQuery. Inside your script element, add to the console um, document.ready um, function, and then inside of there we're going to put a function, and then close it on the following line, still inside your script element with this guy. This is the kind of thing that was super challenging for me when I first started, but now that I understand JavaScript, it's uh, like second nature. Uh, we'll learn more about functions later. The important thing to know is that your code is that the code you put inside the function will run as soon as your browser has loaded your page. This is important because without your document ready function, your code may run before your HTML is rendered, which causes some bugs. This is actually a super important element, um, and I'm going to go over this in depth in this script because I struggled with not being able to get JavaScript projects to work a lot because I didn't quite understand this. So you should create a script element making sure it is, a, it is, it is valid and has a closing tag. Okay, so we only want to change code above this line. And so what we want to do is create a script tag. And then we want to close the script tag. Okay, cool. Now that's really important. Um, this might look familiar from the past. I think, yeah, we've used the script elements before, but um, you can write any sort of thing in here. We could go console.log, uh, you know, hello. And then this will actually log out down here. And so now you can see we're running, we're, we're running JavaScript. Um, in the browser. <clears throat> so this is browser window and in the console we're running it. Um, you should add a document ready function to the beginning of your script. So instead of console.log hello, we should just write, um, this is called bang uh, document.ready um, and then inside the first parameter that we're passing into the document.ready is function and then within there we're going to create a, a function, something to execute on. So we could say console.log uh, jQuery loaded. And here we this is this is uh, the bang symbol is actually a jQuery variable. And so uh, we could say jQuery loaded. And so you'll notice that this hello actually loads before jQuery loaded. Now the thing, one thing to think about is if you were to put this hello world here, hello still loads before jQuery. Why is that? Well, in the computer runs super fast, but the first thing it does, it runs down, it loads the script, it console logs hello, it, it notices that here it's saying, when the document is ready, we're going to run this function. But the document's not ready yet, so it's like, okay, document ready, okay, so I'm going to stand by. And then it renders out this console log, and then it closes scripts, and then it renders the HTML, and then it comes back up. Once this, uh, uh, all this is rendered out in uh, the... I don't know, the document object model, the whatever, the processor of the document, then it comes back up here and it says, okay, document ready, the document is ready, and so then it runs this console log jQuery loaded hello page. And that's why it still comes out on the bottom. If we were to put the jQuery loaded underneath the hello, it would come out below there. So even though it's above the script here, it doesn't load until later because jQuery is telling us not to run this console log script until the document has loaded. Uh, and then, yes, here it says you can just close this as well. So that would be something to look for. Um, this, is, uh, this is basic JavaScript stuff, and it's learning uh, the basics of the document object model, but it's not intuitive when you're first learning. So I hope that me going into more depth on this uh, was helpful. You actually don't need this as part of the code. And you actually don't even need to do anything in it. It doesn't tell you to do anything. I think you could just pass the tests like this. But I don't think it really helps to just copy and paste it out. So I think it makes more sense to say, <clears throat> and I'll do this when I'm writing pr programs too, because when I write uh, a jQuery thing, the first thing I'll do is I'll just say console.log like uh, jQuery loaded. Or sometimes, a lot of the times what I'll do is I'll just write pow, just because I, I know that that's not something that shows up too often. And then you know that it's working and you're working with uh, functional code and you won't have to deal with m messing around with some errors in the future. Um, so yeah, I oftentimes will just throw console logs in right away just to start testing my code right away to make sure I've got it right. 
uh, you remember I, at the beginning I made a, a jQuery, I made an error and it, um, th- well, I guess it's good that the error thing pops up, but sometimes you'll have errors that are really tricky and you just need to, and throwing in console logs there makes it so you know you're working uh, with your code along the way. Anyways, run the test, that pass. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. We'll see you in the next lesson.